guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be um kind of like teaching you how to plant pepper recently i've been trying to do small gardening because i went to the market the other day to buy fresh peppers and the quantity that they sold to me was just i should use the word depressing it was very depressing like i wanted to buy pepper for um pepper of 250 naira because i wanted to cook um two soups that day and then use the remaining pepper the following day and my god the peppers that the guy even sold to me was not then so i just got mad i got angry and then i just started to plant my own peppers well i'd like you to follow me so you can see um the progress that the pepper seeds i planted are making so and i hope that it encourages you to start a mini farm of your own and also okay well let's just go let's just go let's just go <laughs> uh, yeah just get the door um okay so before we even go to where i keep the pepper seedlings i just wanted you to take a look i was just trying to see if i can grow um if i could grow cucumber and <laughs> i just put a few seeds in this place and i didn't really know that it would amount to anything but as you can see hmm, the seeds sprouted and now they've even grown like two leaves this place used to be where my husband planted these um his this um flower plants and but then as you can see i've kind of like converted it to a mini garden of my own and um here i planted um okra seeds here yesterday i can't really figure out the exact place i put them but i'm sure that in no time they will come up and whew, i'll start harvesting okra here one day and then these are my onion plants i have like i think three or four here and then this is I planted um, garlic in this side. As you can see, my garlic is doing really well. And um, there's one that I saw today. Where is it? Okay, look at this here. Wait, where, where? There, this one now. Just look, 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 look. It's really doing well, and I'm so glad. I'm really glad about it. And even this one, safe. There are plenty like that in this place, too. So. I'm just so glad that my efforts were not wasted. Were not wasted. Mm. Okay. So we're now in my backyard. Oh, don't mind the leaves. They come from this tree. And they keep falling off all the time. Right. So in this place, my husband didn't plant any flowering plants here. Um, back in January this year, I just came here <laughs> and I poured um, tomato seeds on this place. Like it was very dry. Then you know, during um, January is usually Hamatan season in Nigeria, so I just poured tomato seeds in this place. So and let me say, like a few days later, I came back to check if anything had started growing, but I didn't see anything, so I gave up. Then the other day, I decided to till the soil in this place because I wanted to plant something. And after tilling the soil, like I was just trying to prep the soil for um, seed, like maybe if I want to plant anything, and I just left it like that. Like, let me say three days later, I came back and I noticed, um, like, and I even poured water that day after tilling. So I just observed this white shoot coming up. And I'm like, oh my God, like there were many, that there were plenty in this place. It was like, wow, like the tomato seeds I poured here in January, like they've sprouted. I was really happy and there are plenty, like 
if I decide to trans, let me just, I'm just like, okay, let this place just be my nursery. And then one day I'll just, probably in the few weeks, um, the next few weeks, I'll just transplant them to a better place. There's actually this um, land just beside our house. There's this Anglican church that owns the land. So I'll see, see if my husband can get them to allow us plant a couple of things there. And maybe they'll actually thrive. But if they do not thrive, if they do not allow us to plant there, I'll just have to plant my tomatoes in buckets or bags or any other thing like that. There are people who actually do it. Okay, so this, <laughs> these are that tomato. This one is tomato, as in the seeds are many, and I'm so glad that they are really sprouting. As you can see, they are sprouting. And then ah, I keep all of them on this place so that they can get enough sunlight and water. Well, this is my pepper. This is the pepper plant and um, they are still in the nursery stage. Um, very soon I'll be able to transplant them into a bucket and I just hope that they do well because pepper seeds are very very hardy to germinate. So and yeah well more peppers more peppers and um, I think some are still coming up safe like yeah well I just hope they do. Honestly, so the end time I go to the market and they tell me that pepper is so so and super. If I don't like it, I'll just come home and pluck my peppers, and then this is more pepper. So um, if you want to plant pepper, that is um this um atarudo pepper, what you do is that you get um toilet paper. Um, I, of course it's not um from. A toilet paper that um, has been in the bathroom for a long time you have to open a fresh toilet paper because it's food it's a food product and you don't want your excrement to come in contact with whatever you're going to eat so you get this um takeout plate or this takeaway plate like we call it in nigeria you fold the toilet paper place it in the takeout plate then you get um your pepper like you get a fresh pepper atarugu we call it atarugu in the north so when you get it you slice it open and then you take out the seeds with a clean knife or scissors you put those seeds on top of the toilet paper then you wet the toilet paper like you sprinkle some water on the toilet paper on the seeds on the toilet paper inside this plate then you cover the plates after doing this you have to place this um um takeaway plates now containing those seeds in a very warm place because pepper i think they, they require warm temperatures for them to be able to germinate so you have to close this um takeaway plates containing these seeds place it in a warm environment and um, you can check your pepper seeds after two weeks you can even check from time to time just to be sure that the seeds are doing well so and after doing that after two weeks you can then bring them outside plant them into small containers like this or even on the ground as in a form of nursery make sure you till the ground before you do it so that it will enable the roots to enter into the ground and be established firmly so that the leaves can show up as soon as possible and um yeah um that's really how to germinate the pepper seeds because i have this friend that told me that she has tried for a very long time to germinate um to plant peppers but her peppers are not always they're not doing well like the seeds end up turning black i planted green peppers here i placed the seeds in this place but well they did not grow so i decided to like um oh my god it's about to rain <laughs> so i decided to like I need to go inside though. Okay, so um, this is what I was telling you earlier to do. Um, I'm out of takeout plates, so I decided to use this container to do my own. So I, as you can see, I placed the paper towel in this container and then put this, uh, these peppers I'm trying to grow like this. Uh, 
yeah green pepper place the seeds on the paper towel and then sprinkle some water on it and then at the end of the day i cover it and place it in a very warm environment and yeah that's all that's how to do that i'm trying to be self-sufficient when it comes to agricultural products or crops because honestly the price of pepper in the market is nothing to write home about so i hope that this video encourages someone out there and okay yeah i'll be keeping you updated on the growth of my pepper plants well thank you for watching my video as you can see i just have nothing to say i just wanted to talk bye bye